In this video, I will be showing you how to set up the N64 emulator called Gopher64. This emulator is a replacement of an older emulator called Moopin64 and a fork called Simple64. It's built by the same developer but gives you much better performance and compatibility. Okay, let's head on over to the official GitHub page of Gopher64. I will leave the link to this page in a pinned comment. The latest version as the recording of this video is 1.1.10. If you take a look under assets, you will see your downloads. And since I'm gonna be downloading this emulator for Windows, I'm gonna click right here, Windows x86. Once you click on it, your download starts. Also, we would need a program for extracting files. I prefer to use 7-Zip, but your Windows computer will have a built-in extractor if you just want to use that. But if you want 7-Zip, the link is in the description. I have moved the downloaded emulator file to my desktop. You guys can save this file wherever you like, whether that be an external hard drive, external SSD, it's up to you. Also on my desktop, I have a folder containing some N64 ROMs. Now I am sorry guys, I cannot tell you where to find N64 ROMs, but trust me, just do a Google search, they are not that hard to find. If you are still having trouble, then check out my Patreon page, link in the description, and I have some videos there that will help you out. So once you get your N64 ROMs, they will be in a compressed zip format that needs to be extracted, and this is where we want to use 7-Zip. And since N64 ROMs aren't that big, I'm just going to highlight all of them, right click now if you want to use your built-in windows extractor then you can just go to extract all but since i'm using 7-zip i'm going to come down to show more options 7-zip and extract here now all of my games have been extracted and if you look over here under type you will see that they have been extracted into z64 files which are playable in the emulator if you get a file format of .n64 or .v64, those formats are also playable. Now we just wanna go through and delete all of our zip files. We no longer need these. Now let's open the emulator. Okay, now let's go down to settings. For the resolution, I'm gonna go ahead and bump this all the way up to eight times. Now this emulator is not that hard to run, but if your PC doesn't have a graphics card and you are using integrated graphics and you're noticing lag, then you may want to come back here and try lowering your resolution to get better performance. I'm going to turn on integer scaling. This will make your graphics look a lot sharper without looking blurry. I'm going to turn on full screen. And as you see right here, if you want to exit a game, just press escape. Now the widescreen option is optional. If you want to play N64 games at their native ratio, then you can leave this unchecked and it will play your games at a four to three ratio. But I prefer to have 16 to nine, which will be full screen, but it may make your games look a little stretched. If you're okay with that, then check the box. Do not apply CRT shader. I gave this a try and for some reason it did not display my games. I could only hear the audio. Also, I'm not going to check this box. I do not want to overclock the N64 CPU. We do not want to disable expansion pack. If you do check this box, it will take away some of the quality of your graphics. And I am not going to check the box for emulate UNF loader. In case you don't know what that is, that's a debugging tool for N64. Now let's go up to controller config. Now you can use an Xbox controller or a PS5 controller with this emulator, but what I prefer to use is this controller here called the 8-Bit Do 64 Bluetooth controller. This is a N64 controller with a modern design, which is great because emulating 64 can be a pain when using a controller that only has four face buttons. If you want one of these controllers, I will leave a link in the description and they sell for $40. Also, this is a Bluetooth controller, but to get this controller to work with Gopher 64, I had to use it wired. Once you have your controller connected to your PC, just come over here for port 1, hit the drop down arrow, and you will be able to see all of your controllers connected to your PC, and there is my 8-bit Do 64 controller. Now you will have to map your buttons out, so you want to come up here to configure input profile, 
Now let's enter a profile name. I'll just call mine P1. Leave your dead zone percentage at 5%. That matches a N64 controller. Check the box for use direct input and start profile creation wizard. Now you just want to select a button on your controller for whatever button it wants you to map out being showed on screen. So right now it wants us to map out our A button. And for me, I'm just going to press the A button on my controller. Now it wants B start and when you see d in a direction that's going to be your d-pad now for setting up your c buttons these are the directional buttons on the front of an n64 controller and your control stick buttons will be your joystick and when you're finished right here where it says profile if we hit the drop down arrow you should see that controller layout we just created in my case p1 now we can go ahead and load up a game Come up here to local game, open ROM, go ahead and locate wherever you have your N64 ROMs, in my case on my desktop in that N64 folder, select the ROM you want to load up, and that game should load up. Thank you guys for watching. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like. And if you guys need any additional help, then make sure to check out my Patreon page. I have quite a few videos there.